one, a big one. Yeah, okay, here we go. Center of Kofu. Uh, we were directed here by some friends. We reckon that this is like the square, the place to be. Yeah. A very old um, island. Uh, first recorded in the Greek literature and uh, Homer, the uh, Odyssey. Um, talked about this place. And it dates back uh, 1300 BC. So there's just so much history, the architecture. It's just breathtaking. It's like one of these places where you can never really have enough of it. Uh, this looks like an old Catholic cathedral. So I'm just going to zap in there and see if I can do just a little. It's just like, uh, yeah, it's so different, really. That's what really makes it beautiful. So, as I said, yeah. Then we had the Persian invasion at uh, 480 BC, and the Spartan also came in uh, 375 BC. And the place reunited with um, Athens uh, afterwards because in those days it was more like um, all the regions of Greece and the islands were all independent in a way so they used to um, come in to sort of conquer so these places had so much invasions but I mean the architecture here is uh, like nothing I've seen and it's just different it's quirky it's beautiful uh, so you can see a store made of funky huts yeah Jenny do you want to go left do you want to hit that area and then we come back and go this direction yeah so I see some sort of it looks like some kind of a mountain or something. Yeah, so this is the actual center. So, as I was saying, uh, Venetians also uh, captured this place in the 16th century. Then in 1798 uh, was the French. And then the English invasion it was about 1814 and finally the English gave it back to Athens in 1864 under the London Treaty um, yeah it's quite warm um, we spoke to a lady she mentioned that the winter months uh, that is a sort of December you're looking at something like 10 degrees at and she says it feels a bit colder because of the humidity. So that's what we've been told. But then we were also told by the taxi driver, he says, don't come in here in the winter time. Jenny, look there, straight down. It's like an arch. I think if we head there, we could see a lot. So yeah, this is the center with the old, uh, architecture of Kofu. Yeah. yeah, Kofu is just like awesome. It looks great. Yeah. Hopefully you can also come um, obviously in terms of uh, there are no restrictions. 
to travel here. So it's a sort of a COVID free um, zone. So um, I recommend that all you do is you, you book your ticket, you organize your hotel. If you want to rent a vehicle, then you do so. And then it's about um, almost like a three hour flight from London. But bear in mind that it's a, it's a GMT plus two. So as I'm filming, filming this, uh, I was about looking at about 3.15, which is then 5.15 in London. And it seems pretty bright, so it's going to be a long daylight, a long day. And you can see all this for yourself because of the sort of age of this um, city or island the architecture speaks a lot for itself it's just beautiful so I have seen something that looks like an arch and I just want to get a little bit closer so you can see uh, the beauty of Kofu and so as I mentioned yeah so the English were the last to basically invade this place and so now it's back in the hands of Greece uh, island is about 64 centimeters long uh, 64 kilometers long not centimeters sorry <laughs> that would be very short uh, kilometers long and 32 kilometers wide so this will be about 40 miles by 20 uh, wide yeah. so um, then all, obviously it's got this sort of different ranges so in the northern part of it it's more mountainous and the highest peak uh, it's about 911 meters now just to give you an idea that the uh, BAI 360 in Brighton goes up to 138 meters high so uh, wow look at that isn't that beautiful yeah. so um, yeah 911 meters uh, in the peak areas in the north is uh, probably about eight times the height or seven times the height of the BAI 360 now when you get to this um, square you get that field sort of Greek mythology Greek um, and Roman history you just get a sense that something important used to happen in this area uh, maybe this is where they used to come to make all these uh, big um, speeches and um, share ideas knowledge uh, the home of democracy careful girls and free thinking that's right this is, um, is Greece and so you can see the flag flying up there in this grand uh, grand building I mean, this place is just awesome awesome you just feel the age you feel it you feel it Wonderful. Uh, yeah, maybe later on I'm gonna go to that side and uh, capture some aspects of this awesome place. Yes, you know, I will really highly recommend uh, 
for you to be here so you can see me. Love beds, mum and daughter. Uh, come to Kofu. Don't don't go anywhere, come to Kofu. It's, it's nice. So here as you can see, just approaching some yachts. The beauty of this place is just uh, it's awesome. It's wonderful. It's, uh, yeah. You do see it on social media, but when you're close to it, it's another level. I'm gonna zoom in on the far end and you can see. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? A few strangers in my video. Yeah, so I mean, in, in reality, I mean, it's, it's a gem of a place. It's a gem. Of a place. You just cannot meet a place like this. Or, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for, if you want the tranquility, you can find it. If you want the quirkiness, you can find it. And also, if you really want to enjoy the holiday in the bars and eating out, restaurants and a lot. Once again, this place provides you with so much. So much, so you can see it for yourself. Like an absolute beauty of a place. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That particular corner. Uh, so, yeah, okay, yeah, I've zoomed in, so uh, sort of zoom out now so you can see it from a far distance. Uh, the yachts. Yeah, maybe they're having a nice party at the far end. Where you've got the yachts. Grand building. So this is uh, Kofu. You just can't go wrong. And the great thing is that it's very different from any other place uh, yeah, and I suppose in Italy you may once again find places like this but, yeah. it's just like what is breathtaking it's just how old the buildings are and the effort that goes into maintaining it and, Keeping it as it is. So once again, a grand. Um, it's a ferry. And there's a few of them. If you are rich. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to zoom in. Once again. The sea is nothing but blue. Yeah, it's blue. So you can see there's a, a chap swimming down there. Yeah. See at the far end, and then on the right side are all the mountains. Yeah. 
so you know uh, further down here you can see people just like chilling out in the sun and more swimmers on that side and <laughs> honestly uh, I have not seen a more beautiful place I have not seen a more beautiful place So I suppose this uh, kind of wraps it up for you all. Uh, you can see it two hours from London. Two and a half, yeah, almost like three hours here to be more precise. Yeah. And then you've got a um, obviously two hour plus GMT. So you have to factor all that in. Best months as uh, I was informed from May to October. Winter, they want to have the place to themselves. So don't don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. And obviously, when you come in, you do your best to listen to all local advice and keep the standards and keep the place as beautiful as it is uh, for other people. No misbehaving. Yeah, no big misbehaving. Yeah. Just, uh, Keep it, keep it real, keep it nice for others to also have an opportunity to enjoy this place in the state that it is. So at this stage, I think I will wrap this video up, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, our focus mainly is for the UK, but surely any opportunity to capture any other place we jump to that opportunity so subscribe 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 and follow EEC art tours and uh, enjoy the adventure and also this gives you a bit of information about a place and uh, helps you to prep uh, before you set off so I hope this video has been most useful uh, to you but there are other places that um, we are also going to capture within Kofu uh, for you to see. So wonderful. Easy art tools. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Great.